Stress refers to the tension, negative emotions, or physical discomfort experienced when demands strain a person's coping resources. When researchers talk about stress, they often separate situations into stressors, the threatening or distressing stimulus causing the stress, stress appraisals, the way we think about stressful events, and the stress response, the physical and emotional reactions to the stressor. So if a student was stressed out about an upcoming exam, that exam would be the stressor. The stress appraisal refers to their seeing the exam as an overwhelming test that they're likely to fail, and the stress response would be feeling anxious or having trouble sleeping. Stress can be caused by a number of different factors. Catastrophes are large-scale, unpredictable stressors like natural disasters or acts of terror, which, unsurprisingly, take an enormous physical, psychological, and emotional toll on people. For example, I grew up right outside of New York City, and I remember the impact that 9-11 had on my friends, family, and neighbors. Stress can also be caused by major life events or any significant life transition. These can include positive life events like getting married or getting a new job, as well as negative events like getting a divorce or getting fired. Lastly, stress can also be caused by everyday daily life hassles, like annoying roommates or dealing with coworkers. It might seem that the response to any one of these daily hassles wouldn't be very large, but the continued stress from multiple hassles can accumulate. For example, people living near or below the poverty line might experience daily hassles like job insecurity, food scarcity, community violence, and the resulting chronic stress contributes to a range of negative outcomes like depression, anxiety, high blood pressure, heart disease, and impaired learning and memory. All types of stressors can impact health and well-being. Stress depends both on the objective nature of the event, as well as on a person's thoughts about the event. Specifically, stressors appraised as threats result in more stress response than stressors appraised as challenges. For example, a flat tire may be a serious threat for someone who doesn't have the money to repair the tire or who can't afford to be late for work. For that person, a flat tire could lead to negative physical and emotional stress responses. That same flat tire may be perceived as a minor inconvenience to someone else who has a spare tire, knows how to change it, and is in no rush. That person will see the situation as an unexpected challenge, but one that they're equipped to handle, and they are unlikely to have a significant stress response.